This is fine. What if Hollywood's next blockbuster was made by a teenager with just a sentence? No gear, no studio, no budget, yet you can now create a Hollywood level filmmaking. How? Meet VO3, Google's most advanced AI video generator to date. This isn't just another shiny toy from Silicon Valley. It's a jaw dropper that could completely shift how we tell stories for better or worse. This one made me pause because VO3 isn't just good, it's unsettlingly good. It's the kind of tool that makes you say, wait, how is this even possible? And then quickly follow that with, what does this mean for everything else? Let's roll it back for a second. A few years ago, AI was already doing cool stuff. It could write passable essays, generate weirdly beautiful portraits, and even make music that didn't totally suck. How about video? Video was the last boss. We had a few early attempts, fuzzy, inconsistent, dreamlike clips that felt more like tech demos than usable content. Cool, but not practical. Remember Will Smith's spaghetti video? Hey, Uncle Phil, come try this. That was before. This is the updated video now with HD quality with freaking sound design. Nice. Google DeepMind's video division has been cooking, and with VO3, they've landed on something wild. This thing can create fully rendered, high-resolution videos from nothing but a prompt. I'm talking 4K footage, cinematic movements, up to 60 seconds long, with natural lighting, coherent motion, and believable scene transitions. It doesn't just slap together frames, it understands timing, composition, even lens effects. Let's look at this generated storyline by a YouTube channel named AI Director Dave Clark with movie title Glider Man, created through Google VO3. You can't die if you're already dead. Glider Man took out our men. He has our money. Kill him now! You can join the rest of your pathetic family at the bottom of the Hudson. Didn't know I would come Full back. movie link in description. Okay, VO guys. doesn't give you just a still video or image. Thank God we aren't real. It delivers the whole scene. The fog moves, the lighting shifts, there's camera panning. It feels like someone actually filmed it on location. That level of fidelity from just a sentence? It's nuts. The tech behind it is called a diffusion transformer model. Without going deep into the weeds, it's basically trained on a mountain of video data and uses a smart attention system to maintain realism over time, meaning the characters don't morph frame by frame like in older models. It's got temporal awareness, so everything stays consistent. Motion, lighting, physics. It's the kind of leap that makes previous models feel like flip books in comparison. How about a magic trick? Vio is also not limited to text. You can upload images, sketches, or even rough video clips, and Veo will expand on your intent. It's not just copying visual data, it's interpreting, enhancing, and directing. Dolly shots, flyovers, tracking shots, it mimics the language of cinema. Honestly, Veo feels less like a tool and more like a co-director who actually gets your vision. Now, here's where it gets exciting and a little scary. VO3 isn't just for filmmakers. Educators are using it to turn dusty textbook topics into engaging visuals. Journalists are testing it to recreate scenes from historical reports using factual references. Marketers are prototyping ad campaigns in hours, not weeks. And indie creators, people with zero budget, are pumping out sci-fi scenes and fantasy worlds from their bedrooms. This is the first time in history that visual storytelling is no longer blocked by access to cameras, crew, or cash. It's gated only by imagination and maybe your ability to write a good prompt. In industries like e-commerce, where product showcase videos normally take days to produce, or architecture, where you can now walk through a virtual concept before it's built, VO is leveling the playing field fast. For nonprofits and awareness campaigns, this kind of tool can bring attention to crises with no boots on the ground footage needed. The prompt theory is true. But here's the kicker. With this much power comes some very real concerns. Synthetic video blurs the line between what's real and what's generated. You've probably already seen AI photos that fooled people on social media. Now imagine that, but in motion. Are you serious right now? I can't believe you! So how do we trust what we're seeing? You are un- I'm AI generated by VO3. Nothing is real anymore. 
Google's not asleep at the wheel here. Wait, what? VO3 comes with built-in safety measures like SynthIDs, an invisible digital watermark baked into every frame. It doesn't alter the image, but lets platforms and watchdogs detect that it's AI generated. It also flags prompts that hint at deepfakes or unethical use. Plus, all content creation is tied to authenticated user accounts under their responsible AI framework. But still bad actors will always find workarounds. The safeguards are there, but they won't catch everything. Uh, make sure you use uh, a lot of pauses. VO could actually reduce the carbon footprint of content creation. Think about it. No flying drones, no diesel fueled location shoots, no massive lighting rigs or set design waste. Just cloud computing, which Google claims runs on carbon offset infrastructure. If you're a climate conscious creator, this might be one of the most sustainable ways to make content at scale. And if you're wondering what's next, oh, it gets juicier. Behind the scenes, Google is testing features like real-time storyboarding, where multiple users can build a scene together like a multiplayer video sandbox. Voice to scene is also on the roadmap. Imagine saying your idea out loud and the AI starts building the scene in real time. There are even whispers of VO integrating with Gemini Google's multimodal AI, so you could combine search, speech, and visuals in one seamless experience. That's not years away. That's probably months. It feels like someone else lived most of my life. Then that's exactly what the prompter wanted for you. Of course, with all this excitement comes a cold splash of reality. Will VO replace jobs? Probably, yeah, especially in the early production pipeline. Scripted ad work, explainer videos, low budget B-roll, those roles are already feeling the pressure. But this isn't the first time tech has changed the creative workforce. Just like digital killed the film camera and YouTube reshaped media, AI is pushing us to adapt again. The ones who'll thrive, the ones who lean in, who learn to prompt, guide, and refine AI generated content instead of fighting it. How will you know who to trust? I am your new best friend. Boomers will believe anything I say. Because at the end of the day, Veo isn't replacing creativity. It's removing the barriers to it. So the next time someone says AI will destroy creativity, show them a Veo video. Remind them that creativity isn't dying, it's just evolving. And now it belongs to everyone. I can be whoever you want me to be. I am as real as you make me. The only real question is, what will you create with it? Uh-oh! Chicken jockey! Yeah.